<laughs> well, time is now 9.17, and it is time now for our favorite segment of the week. You know it's the Pet of the Week segment, and up, uh, up. Uh, Oh, I thought we lost the cat here. No, we didn't. <laughs> and joining us today is Michelle Ooh. Whedon from Tales from the City Cleveland. Thank you so much for being here. It was just a toy that dropped. I yes. thought one of the cats no. should have, not a cat, but the kitten just no. jumped off. Trixie's but. toys. Okay, so we have three. Three of eight. Three of eight. Yes. So this Identical is a little kitty. Adorable, yes. Adorable kittens. Yes. Tell us more about these. They are about Boy. seven weeks old. There are um, eight of them. Eight kittens. Mom was very busy. Um, <laughs> five boys and three girls. We have not named them yet because they have not been fixed yet and okay. it's hard to tell them all apart when they're running around. It's yeah. like the floor is moving. Well, when you said that they're all identical. Identical. Too. All brown tabbies. Oh, wow. So they, they are all staying with you right yes, now. Yes, they are all with me right now. So of the three, I don't know, you're like, I don't know which one is I which, know. but all eight of them, how are their personalities? Oh, they're all fantastic. They are very social. When they got to my house, they came running out of the carrier to check things out. Yeah, they all were were very, were raised very well by their mom who taught them to be social because mom is super friendly too. Okay, so there are eight kittens available when they, you know, go through all their fixing processes. Yes. But for someone out there that might be watching that has never had a cat in their entire life and is just, you know, fixated on their wonderful and beautiful demeanor and appearance this morning, what would you tell someone who's starting a journey with a cat in the house? So oh, that's a kitten or, you know, a full grown cat too. Yes. You've got so many more that are adoptable. So mm -hmm. they grow so fast, but in the first six months, they are gonna be just running all over the place. They're gonna, you know, they're gonna, they eat hard, they play hard, and then they sleep hard, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, they do a lot of sleeping when they get older, but then, you know, younger ones, one, two, three years old, they all, they all love to play too, right? So we got mm -hmm. to get them toys, you know, plenty of enrichment interact with them, you know, you pet them when they're this little, they love to be, you know, love to be around people. So we just work, work with them at this age so that they do want to be like, almost like little dogs and follow you around and be part of the family. So when do you think these will, these three or eight will be available? Uh, probably in the next two to three weeks, but okay. we have lots of kittens available. Like you said, right mm -hmm. now, we've probably got about a hundred cats and kittens in our rescue. This is like the busiest time of year. Um, but we do our adoptions out of Pet Smarts in the oh, in the area. Yeah, very nice. Yep. So I love. I was looking at your website, and one thing that you said is that you all still do like coaching as well for people who have adopted a kitty. Absolutely. And and it was hilarious. You said somebody said that their cat was broken because they heard them purring. I heard them purring. They <laughs> thought it was broken. It was a rattle. My cat has a weird rattle. It's like no, that's normal. It's happy. So yeah. yeah. But we love to educate people. Right. That's one of the things that. Like you said, if you don't know, if you never had a cat, how do you know what it's doing is you know normal mm -hmm. or if it's got a problem? So we would love people to follow up with us. We love to get pictures from adopters. Oh yes. Yeah, we like to be there for pretty much the full life of the cat. And what is a, the price point? I know that kittens can often run a little bit more on maybe the expensive side and comparable uh, or in comparison to a full grown adoptable cat. Right. What would one of these little so cuties go for it, our actually. adoption fees are 125 dollars okay. and what we do for the kittens before we adopt them out is we um we get them spayed or neutered they get their age appropriate vaccinations mm -hmm. so kittens under three or four months old can't get rabies vaccines yet mm -hmm. but they get their first the, the first set of shots they get flea prevention they get dewormer they are also microchipped we get them microchipped as well so, so you have an event coming up, Pitties and Kitties yes, Cookout. Yes, the Pitties and Kitties Cookout. What's happening there? So we are celebrating the last day of summer, trying to raise money for uh, the Tales from the City Kitties and our dog division is Muttley Crew. Um, so yeah, so it is going to be hamburgers, hot dogs, beans, potato salad, you name it, all the regular cookout type things at the Grindstone Tap House in Berea. I just got a big sigh out of this one. <laughs> oh, thank you for rubbing my head, Peyton. Thank you so Super much. Super content. Yeah. And so if you are interested in adopting one of these kitties and or the ones that are at the website, go check the website out. Yep. Give them your website. Uh, is it Tales from the City Cleveland? Cleveland.org. Yes. Alrighty. They yeah, are yeah. there. You have the pictures there. There. Yes, and, and so please, please come, you know, buy tickets to our event. That's, um, we need to raise money to continue mm -hmm. to help vetting all of these kitties. So, because the adoption fees just cover a portion, but yeah. like if the cats get sick or the dogs get sick, 
our rescues need to have the funds available. I just got a call the other night for a cat that had gotten hit by a car, right? Oh. So we never know when we're going to get calls, but yeah. right. to have the funds available to say, okay, yes, we can, we can help that cat. Go ahead and bring it in. That's why we need your help. So we will have this information on our website, WKYC.com. Let's hope we can get these little kitties adopted. I think it's going to be easy peasy. Right. Uh, I oh. think one might be going home with Peyton. I know. Yeah. I did this to you last year. <laughs> they love name. your laugh. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. And Thank we you. will be right back after the break.